Initially, I was planning to use the 2011-2012 motor assembly, but I have other plans for that style of drive unit. Being that this fastback was pretty rotten to begin with, I wasn't afraid to chop things and fit the taller motor combo from the 2013 and up. There's the drivetrain, and let's pop these wheels off and see how far we overlap here. It's going to be a lot. Kind of tough to tell, but it's not quite as bad as I thought it would be. Due to the nature of this accident for this leaf, the, uh, the steering angles are very toe in, so it's not lining up perfectly, but you can see it's, you know, a good six inches total if not more overhanging. Now I'm gonna take off the DC fast charge cable, basically take this cover off and take off all the unnecessary stuff for now. Got the pile of high voltage off, so now I'm taking the CVs and the hubs off. I'm just gonna pop these off because I kind of want to leave these seals there. I mean, if, as soon as I undo that, fluid will dump all over. So I'm just gonna kind of pop it out from here. Mmm, that's ah, really juicy. <laughs> get a little container all right take two there we go so there's no locking ring like on other Nissans uh, they actually punch the housing to keep the bearings in so I actually <laughs> took my grinder and just really gently went around the edge to remove the relief and it comes out so kind of an oddball way of retaining the bearing from my perspective there's no way to service this without doing that kind of frustrating but we got them out Here are the axles side by side. They appear to be exactly the same length. I'll lighten the load a little bit and take the charger off. And then I'm just gonna undo the, I think there's a total of six bolts on the perimeter. Something in this realm, obviously just way up there, but the orientation of the axles, as you can see, it'd be a little bit further outboard, but I want to keep the bulk of the weight toward the center, if I can, of the vehicle. And then the potential is possibly have a bit of a trunk left with the uh, charger up here. That might, that might still work. The CV output to the hub, you know, there's roughly six inches and there's roughly six inches there. So in the best case, it'll be even, but this is totally unloaded suspension. So I think I'm gonna have to end up cutting a big port there. And if I do that, I may as well just keep it in the standard orientation so that uh, all the oiling galleys and all that for the differential will uh, be in stock orientation. Here's a side angle. Yeah, and I have it 
just slightly forward just because I'm thinking if I can keep it as close to the structure of the vehicle the easier to build mounts. There's a false ceiling here that I think I'll cut into. I think I'll still keep it in this orientation. Not totally sure yet, but I'll get it figured out. Here's a very rough idea of what it will look like in the standard orientation. Uh, that's pretty far off, but it's because this bracket here isn't allowing me to go much further as you can see i've got gobs of room to go further up or toward the front drawback is this is definitely gonna have to get cut benefit is that this entire area back here could be used for electronics or trunk area here we are with the inverter removed as well. And you can see we're still slightly back, but we will not need to cut, which is pretty remarkable. In fact, um, what I might do is just create a small little gap for the inverter to uh, make its connection up on top. But the mounting locations are right here which I can work into the frame assembly I hope here's another view and I'm thinking of mounting the inverter and charger just as as they normally are but just right to the to the floor front motor mount is in but I'm uh, waiting to do the rear until I cut the top here. You can see it's kind of already started a cut through weather and rust. <laughs> so I'm just gonna whoosh, 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 whack that out. I'm not concerned about it. If I was working on like a customer vehicle or something, I would probably, I'd probably worry about it. But this is mine. So I have to fit this guy. I seem to have lost a lot of the footage showing the motor mounts, but played around with quite a few different designs using the rubber rubber mounts, but finally just decided to hard mount it. This is obviously much further into the uh, video series. Got some wiring and CV axles done, sort of. Everything fits nicely. I'll be diving into the brake system next. I'm looking forward to making this thing stop on a dime by using as much of the leaf equipment as possible. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.